Hello friends, this is Nelson Darwin Park Tech Channel. In this MATLAB tutorial, I have come up with a very interesting project of playing a video in our MATLAB's GUI project. For doing so, we will come here and write guide in our command window and press enter. After entering, it will show us guide quick start and here we have to select blank GUI and press OK. After pressing, it will show us the blank layout of our GUI. In this project, I will be dragging a slider like in our previous video and draw it here according to my need. Like this, I can drag it anywhere and an axis. This axis will help us showing the graphic part of our project. Like this. Now we have to save our program or figure like this and save it with any name. I'm saving like Heli project and save. Now here it is showing us the layout which look quite fine. In this axis, a video is supposed to be played. And how the video will be played? I'll slide the slider and video will run slowly frame by frame. For doing so, I'll come back to my figure and go to the callback function of my slider by right clicking on it. Go to the callback. Here, we have to perform or we have to fetch a video from our local hard drive and paste it in the access part of our GUI. For doing so, first of all, we'll come here and get the slider value. I'm doing like this. I'm declaring slider value variable and fe fetching its value by get handle start slider one. like this and now we will set a check like in a previous video we were sliding the slider and it was giving us specific values between 0 and 1 so we have to define some small intervals of 0 0.01 so that we can play our video frame by frame let me remove the comments so here if slider value is equal to 0 0.0100 so what our function is supposed to do our function is supposed to do set the axis and handles axis 1 like this what is axis 1 axis 1 as we drew our axis it has been named named by default by MATLAB as axis 1 so what is this thing performing axis handles the graphic object of a project so and handling is a super class that works like a, an action listener so what is this line performing this line is performing or this statement is performing it is this access function will be grabbing the graphic part of our project and it will give it to the handles which will paste it in our access one and now we have to to fetch the video from our drive I will declare a variable in which our video will be saved now video reader this function will fetch the video from our hard drive. In here, we have to paste our video's address. Like my video is saved in here. I will copy its address and paste it here. Like this. And it is helicopter.mp4. Now, now I will define a loop 
which is responsible for fetching the video in the specific frame rates defined in our loop and inside the loop i'll be declaring a variable name video which is supposed to read out the video stored in the variable v like here and read it with respect to our frame rate defined in the loop now i'll convert it into the image using image function and give a pause or delay of 0.25 seconds and end now let's save and see if it's working here we go it is fetching the video for the first frames now i'll define other frames in the same way like this in my case the maximum frames that i got in my video was 102 to 107 and it covered all my video it can be different in your case now let's save your code and run here we go upon increasing the value of the slider here you can see it is displaying the different frames of our video and hopefully it will cover all the video now here you can see the video frames has been completed so it's looking like it's stuck in here so that's why i've not defined it further now i'll stop my code here and this was enough for today's tutorial if you learned give it a thumbs up and stay tuned to our channel for learning more and don't forget to subscribe thank you